Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new DJI Ronin SC and specifically setting up the SC Pro Focus System on the Panasonic GH5. Now in my last video we took a look at the Ronin SC, the Pro package and what it included and in this one we're going to go through setting that focus system up to get proper pull focus with the Ronin SC with the GH5. Now whilst I am showing this with the GH5 this does stand pretty much for any camera and lens combination just depending on what your setup is you might want to do it on the left or the right hand side okay so as part of the pro system you get a number of additional items you get the new Ronin SC focus motor you get an adapter cable which allows you to split the signal we have the tube the arm the riser plate and a number of accessories. The first thing we're going to do is set up our mounting plate to our extension arm. Now to do this, you need to take a couple of the screws that are included in the system and then locate them in the correct two holes. Now this has two sets of mounting options. You can either mount it the, which it would be that way with the screw holes for those two, or it would be the for those two. For the GH5, you actually need it on the two outermost positions once the arm is mounted to the riser, you will also need to put one of the screws into the clamp here. And then this is where the main tube goes in for mounting the focus motor. Once you have done this, the next job is to then mount your camera to this and this to the main camera plate. So I've mounted the riser and the arm to the bottom of my GH5. And then we're going to take our base plate and mount it to that with the two screws. Now the position we're going to want this in is pretty much as far back as possible because that is the ideal position when you are doing this in a heavy setup and as you can see although it's upside down dji have labeled it light and heavy now because we're using both screws but what we're going to do now is tighten that down to make sure we've got that in the right place looking at it now from underneath you can see that we've now got the main camera plate fitted we've got the riser in the middle and then we've got the extension arm sticking out on the side so the next thing we need to do is fit the tube so we have the tube in place and then we're going to take the focus motor as well slide that onto the tube to allow us to position it exactly where we're going to want it to catch that focus ring so on this lens the focus ring is here so the position we're going to want it is approximately there and then we need to fit the focus gear on as well so we've got the lens gear ring mounted over the focus ring on the lens we've got the frame and everything so then simply when it's ready to go in the correct spot you bring it up and align it on the tube to get it in the right place and all we're going to do then is tighten up the thumb screw at the bottom to make sure that it locks in place nicely then when we turn the ring you can see that the focus motor spins nicely and again you've still got alignment on this that you can make on the lens itself just to make sure that the gear is exactly where you want it to be okay so i've set this up with the main focus gear now attached what we've got obviously is the gh5 with the ring gear mounted now you could cut this off if you were using the same one all the time i'm not going to do it on this because this is a test one um spinning it around to the side you can just see a bit better what we've done there and you can see that you've got the plate now i have got the plate mounted with two screws if you look underneath you can see that both screws are fitted and it does stick the plate out a little bit over the back but it still gives me clearance on the back motor without any problems at all now the last thing to do on this is to fit the cables now before i do that i am just going to show you i have got it balanced perfectly at the moment and it is balanced pretty much spot on and as i've said even with the focus gear in place there is nothing touching and whilst it does come very very close it does clear so it does mean that even with the focus gear on you could still use it in the underslung mode without a problem so to connect the cables up you need to use the supplied adapter which is this alongside your normal camera connection now the thing to always remember with the ronin sc is the plugs that are angled go into the gimbal so normally on the camera plug the angled plug goes into the gimbal at the back and the straight one goes into the camera again the same stands for this adapter but what we actually have to do is put the angled plug into the gimbal the other side of the plug which is labeled focus motor 
goes into the motor and then we plug our camera cable directly into this adapter. So what we're going to do is pop it into a position I can get to it a little bit easier. Plug that in like that. We're then going to swing this round and plug this end of the adapter into the focus motor. And then on the adapter, we're going to plug the right hand cable for the camera connection and then mount that into the side of the GH5 which will give us our camera connection. And whilst that does look a little bit untidy, what we're then gonna do is tidy it all up so it's all tucked up out of the way. So I've now tidied up all the cables and if I show you what I've actually done is I've actually bolted the adapter to the back of the plate because there is a screw hole that goes through and there's a couple of space screws in the pack. So I've gently bolted that onto that. We've then got the camera cable from the gimbal coming all the way around into the adapter, back up, out the adapter into the focus motor at the top and then I've got the camera cable coming out the side of the camera flipped round down to the side so it gives a nice clean setup with nothing getting in the way okay so I've now got the main focus set up and working and as you can see to adjust it I simply control the wheel and it adjusts the focus. Now there are two things that you can do. The first thing you really wanna do is set the endpoint limits. And this sets both sides of the furthest point on your focus ring on your lens. Now to do this, you double tap the button on the front of the focus wheel. So I go one, two, and what it will then do is automatically set the endpoints of the focus via the focus motor. So it does the one side and then it will rotate all the way around and spin it to the other. And that then sets the physical endpoints of the focus control. Now, you can also use the AB function, which allows you to preset your own focus points. And you can do this really, really easily. So what I'm going to do is set it into the top there, nice and easy. You then simply press the focus button once on the unit and it will start to flash the LED once. You then move it to the second position you want it. So I'm gonna go 180 degrees underneath. You then press the focus button for a second time and then the LED will start to flash twice. And you are now in a B mode. So you can just scroll once up and down and as you can see, it won't actually go beyond those limitations. Now, if you wanna to return to the normal full range of focus, you simply press the button again and then it gives you your full range of focus control. Another nice option with this setup is if you didn't want to use it for focus, you can actually use it for zoom. So on my manual lens, I've moved the gear back onto the zoom section. And now you can see that I can control the zoom on the lens via the focus control rather than use it for focus itself. So it does give you a couple of options. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about, and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.